Hello! Um, I come to you today with a bad medical science video, um, which is what I term everything to do with my uh, cancer and chemo, although technically it is a wig video. As you can see, I have hair today, uh, which is quite exciting. Um, I've done full, I've got lashes and everything, I've gone full hog for you. However, I'm also having a total hot flush, so I apologise, it looks like I've gone mental with the blusher. Um, I mean, not that I don't normally do that, but this is just me <sighs> having a bit of a meltdown. So basically, yeah, I am going through chemotherapy for breast cancer at the moment, for anyone that didn't know, which means that all of my hair has fallen ashes on and whatnot. However, there has been an occurrence. And that occurrence is regrowth. Regrowth is happening, um, which is super exciting. I'm really stoked for it. Um, so yeah, on my head that you can't see now because I've got a wig on, is some super teeny tiny baby fuzz, which is like growing out of my actual scalp and is attached and it doesn't fall out when I pull it, which is like really exciting. However, it is super baby fuzz and it will have to go at some point for real hair to start growing back. Real hair as in like actual, it's not just fluffy, sprouty stuff. So part of this regrowth is the fluff and part of it is that it may be sort of patchy or it will take a while for it to look fully covered. Um, and that's something that I'm not really super um, comfortable or confident with because that just looks messy. Um, I'm not like embarrassed about it or anything, I just think it doesn't look very nice. Um, so I've started looking at actual for reals wigs to wear outside of my house, outside of selfies, outside of stupid photos that I do for social media. This is a tall, um, it's human hair, which I thought would freak me out a lot more because I'm doing this and it's hair, but it's not my hair, but it feels like hair because it is hair, but it's not my hair. <sighs> I uh, got to know someone through uh, my recent experiences and she was wanting to uh, get rid of it for super cheaps. So I jumped on that opportunity um, and got it, even though it's blonde and I am not blonde. Um, yeah, I look like this before so it's quite it's quite a big deal for me and I think that's part of the reason that I'm maybe struggling with like me thinking oh it just it looks like a wig because it's it also is blonde um, and that would freak me out if it was my real hair and I dyed it blonde um, so yeah this is mostly going to be my um, for work hair I think because I need to go out and sort of speak to people see people and again patchy root growth does not look very professional in my opinion so thought I'd get something um, yeah, so I'm just having to come to terms with the fact that I'm blonde and this is my hair now. I mean, it's because it's um, expensive and it's human, I can I can like style it and it is um, really easy to, to do things with. I can use uh, like heat tools on it and I can actually dye it and cut it if I wanted to. Yeah, so that was, this is this is partly for me, this video, just to, for me to look at myself um, and to introduce you to Blonde Lucy because she may show up in some of my other videos. So, um, yeah. Let me let me know what you think. And yeah, whether whether would this look like real hair? Would you think that this was a wig if you saw me on public?